Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. We have the mirror challenge. There's still an hour and... There's still a day and 11 hours left in this challenge. So let's find out what's going on. It's pretty easy. If you fail, it's 10 gems. To re-enter for 10 gems... Ah... A little debatable, but let's try this challenge. We're 2-0 currently in our first entry. Okay, so the most important thing here is checking out everything that I have. I have the bowler to counter the hog. We have ice spirit to counter the minions. There's not a lot of anti-air. There's the ice spirit and there's the archers that we have in our deck. Alrighty. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of damage on that side. Oh my goodness. Wait for the bowler to cross though. Nope. Get the archers in. Oh, just throw it in. Oh my goodness. He outplayed me. We have no counters to the barrel. He played the barrel first. I have the bowler. And I put it one towel on the wrong side. It doesn't counter anything. Woosa. Now I could do the hog rider, and I probably will. He has the bowler. If he puts it in the center, it's gonna counter my bowler and my hog. Ha ha ha! He got tricked. Hog gets one hit. Although he doesn't have. Anything to counter the hog riders anymore. He's got minions. He's got minions. That ain't enough. Um, those archers though. Oops. I meant to do ice spirit then that. All right. Well, looks like that hog rider is gonna deal a lot of damage. Archers don't counter it. I'm losing, but we're gonna recover. Oh my goodness! He mirrored the hog rider. That's going to cost them a lot of elixir. We're going to trade towers now. We're not trading towers. He has the right side. Oh my goodness. Alright. We put the bowler down. We accept our defeat. Although... You know what? Forget the other tower, man. We're going to cycle to our hog rider. And we're just going to rush everything. Bowler, Ice Spirit, everything. We're trading towers. He mirrored the archers. I don't know if that's going to be... Uh, I might have to use lightning. One more... Oh, my frick. We're using lightning. He's got the Hog Red tank for the skeleton. Or the goblin barrel. So I've got to use the minions to take them out. And uh, since those archers are distracted, I'm going to use my minions to take care of that. Now he doesn't have... I've got a minion horde coming. I've got a minion horde coming. Prepare your body, because I have a minion horde coming. And the hog rider is tanking everything. Minion horde wins the game. That's what I thought. I knew the key to victory was the anti-air. I played poorly, but I still won. <laughs> Collect our first reward, 3M. That's what, 500 gold? 100 star power? Star points? Star what? I, I don't even know anymore. Okay, wizard, golem, lava hound. He's gonna have Tesla to counter my golem. I can use rocket on the Tesla, but I think it's a better idea to use rocket on the wizard because the wizard's the only thing that's gonna be able to counter anything. Oh my goodness, that is mad rocket value. Wait for the second Tesla to engage. That is mad value. I could counter his wizard with my wizard. And I think I will. Targets my ice golem. Perfect placements. Although, let's see if he has... Nope, nope. I wish I could take it back. I wish I could have taken that back. I wish I could have taken that back. I'm down seven elixir now. Wizard doesn't even get one hit on there. That's... Mm. Alright. That was minus seven elixir. Not worth it. Oh my goodness. That's aggressive. Will he have the wizard though? Because I need to rocket his wizard. Just in case he has the wizard. I can't afford those skeletons dying. Oh, he puts rocket on there. Alright. Then I'm going to do wizard. Nothing counters that. Death damage! Ah, oh, hits my tower. Ice Wizard gets one hit! And a Death Nova. Frost Nova. Whatever. So I think the key to victory is going to be using Mirror for my Wizard. Wizard on Wizard action. Although, I think I'm going to actually counter this Wizard with a Lava Hound. Because that's... 
how everything works. Since that wizard's distracted by the lava hound, I can put down the skeletons to take it out. Bum 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 bum. Put down the wizard. Maybe even mirror the wizard. I'm gonna stagger my wizard though. There we go. And we have two lava pups. There's no anti-air with the lava pups. This is the victory. The key was mirroring the wizard. Put down the wizard, or the golem in the center. Skeletons were the only counter to the wizard. This is the wackiest mirror deck I've ever seen. The biggest thing for this challenge is the first two seconds of the game when you identify what you can't counter. What you can't counter, they can't counter. Because it's the mirror challenge. We're four, zero in this challenge, looking pretty good. We get the 50 cards, 5,000 gold, I think. Two, 250, I don't know. All right. Gold is relative. 50, 50 star points. 50 star points. I got it right. I think I can do two more games. All right, Pat. Chief Pat. Uh, lightning counters the musketeers. Mirror lightning also kills the musketeers. It seems that there's nothing. So the thing is, I'm going to use Inferno Dragon. Oh, that's nice. He's going to have Inferno Dragon for my roll giant. Oh, my goodness. I might even... I might actually just mirror my musketeer. That was a very expensive lightning. I could just mirror my musketeer right now. He doesn't have the lightning. Yep. Come on, take out the... Yep. Took out the Inferno Dragon. It's over, baby. It's over. Boom, boom, boom. Who needs 3M when you've got 2M? That level 10 Musketeer is basically two Musketeers all in its own. Lightning counters two of them. So I don't want him to lightning the right side. I want him to lightning the left side. And then I'm I could stack my I Electro Wizard, or I could go for the Roll Giant on that side. I might even actually just go for the Roll Giant in the center, just so that it tanks for everything. Oh, goodness gracious. We're, we're going to Lightning that, that side for good luck. Oh, the King Tower. That's so nice. I'm coming for you, Pat. I'm coming for you. Is he going to put down the Roll Giant, though? That's, that's the big question. Yeah, he puts down the Roll Giant. Oh, shoot. He's going to Lightning it. I shouldn't have done the E-Wiz. I shouldn't have done the E-Wiz. There's the Lightning. Oh. I'm good without that. I'm so good. And it's double elixir. Free hits. Wait for oh that that was like a thousand damage on the tower. That's so nice. Yep. Musketeer. Oh no, that's lightning range. Balloon. Yep. Nice. That Inferno Dragon tank. The Inferno Dragon has less health than a regular baby dragon. But... A baby dragon doesn't have armor like an Inferno Dragon. An Inferno Dragon has armor, so therefore it can tank better. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to spread this out so he can't lightning my tower and the Electro Wizard. He'll, he'll get that one. That's fine. Maybe push the Inferno Dragon out. And that's good game. 2-0 victory. Okay, we're 5-0. 1,500 gold. Not bad. Let's go for those two epics. I love the mirror challenge. Acilia. All right. Expo, Lava Hound, Magic Archer, Mega Minion, and Bandit. So we don't have any big spells. I think mirroring the Magic Archers, the Mega Minions, and everything are going to be the key to success. Success. Mm. Nope. We're going to mirror. All right. I'm just going to go straight for the Lava Hound. That uh, Magic Archer is a write-off. I'm just going to let it deal its damage, do its thing. And now that he doesn't have Magic... He's going to have Mega Minion. He's gonna have Mega Minion and Bandit. But not for this graveyard. Bow, 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 bow. Mega Minion Bandit, exactly like I said. Does it take out everything? Kind of. It kind of did. Oh my goodness. At least that took out his Mega Minion. Alright, at least our Bandits are gonna cancel out. Okay. Well, that works too. Bandit. Bop, bop. Boom! On the tower. That's glorious. We go for the defensive expo. And then he's gonna have. Yep, the Lava Hound. I can put this Magic Archer anywhere I want. I'm going to put it a little bit farther back when I have the Elixir. And then I might even just mirror my Mega Minion. There's no spells. We're so good. This is so juicy. That Expo is going to wreck my Magic Archer. We'll leave it at that, though. Because it's going to be double elixir, and I'm going to use my Lava Hound, and it's going to be like, whatever to the Expo. I might even bypass it. Really good defense. The Expo takes out every... Oh, my frick. Oh, my frick. 
Oh my frick! Oh, I should have put the magic archer right there. That would have been like... That would have been some really good value right then and there. Bandit's gonna go on to the expo, expo counters, all that good stuff. But here we go. Double the Lava Hound. Double the pain. We... Need to stop that freaking expo! Oh my goodness. 14 seconds. Don't panic. Everything is fine. Nothing's on fire. Nothing's on fire. Nothing's on fire. We go for the graveyard. We go for another graveyard. What does the damage? Everything is fine. What's happening? Am I winning? Is he defending? What is going on? Three Lava Hounds on the map. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Who needs clone Lava Hound when you have triple Lava Hound mirror? He has Mega Minion and Magic Archer, but they also counter each other. Oh, look at that glitch. Why is it so big? Supercell. Supercell. Are you going to fix this? Two clones. Tribute to Lava Clone. Not bad. And for a free challenge, that's pretty sweet. For 10 entries to re-enter, re this is a really fun challenge and I might actually consider that. The biggest thing for the mirror challenge is never play the first card and always make sure you know what you have to counter for. The first game that I was playing with the wizard, the only counter we had in the game was a naked ice wizard is going to die to the ice golem or rocket behind a golem or anything like that. I always save my rocket for the wizard behind on that stuff. The second game, there's lightning. Lightning's not going to take out all the three musketeers, all the electro wizards, all of that good stuff. So you knew that you couldn't really play the balloon in that game because there's 3M, musketeer, electro wizard, inferno dragon, basically everything could stop it. And then you had the last game, Expo was a really good defense for everything. It could defend against the bandit, the magic archers and everything else i would say the last game was actually really balanced it actually had counters there are some games where there are just absolutely no counters hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and good luck in the challenges